All right, this is 13.9. Uh, it's more coordinate point polygons. Uh, problems, we're not really going to be using much grid work today, um, but this is specifically quadrilaterals, and we're going to be working with just the points and doing the math with the points. Okay, um, without putting them on a grid and just evaluating what we can with uh, the math that we figure that out. Okay, so here's an example. We have a uh, quadrilateral, MRGA, right, and uh, with, the, with the points. So let's figure out the lengths of each one of these and compare them. Okay, so let's go ahead and figure out line segment GA length. As, well. as always, we just use Pythagorean theorem without assuming that this is the uh, hypotenuse of a triangle that we could figure out. Okay, so um, we're going to go ahead and take the square root of the change in X and the change in Y. Okay, so G and A, my G value is going to be uh, 5 and 3. So the change in f the difference in, in 5 and 3 is 2. Okay. So the difference, oh, that's M, G and A. Whoops. All right, so G and A. Difference in, f the difference in negative 7 and 3, if I do... I do. If I don't know, recognize that it's 10 right off the bat, I can go negative 7 minus 3 is 10, right? So absolute value of that is, I could do negative 10 squared and figure out it's, it's 100, or just do 10 squared, right? So it's going to be uh, 10 squared plus, and then my change in y's, right? Negative 5 minus 9 negative, right? equals 4, right? So the difference between 4, 5, and 9 is 4, right? So plus 4 squared equals, right? So the square root, so, so 100, so 10 squared, 10 squared plus 4 squared equals square root is, oops, square root, Square root, it's something. So we're going to leave it in the square root form, exact form. It is 116, 100, and square root 116. Well, can we, uh, let's see if we can reduce that any. So 116 divided by 2 is 58. Uh, that divides by 2 is 29. 29 is a prime number. So that equals the square root of, let's see, 116. 16 divided by 29 is 4. Okay, so so 4 times 29. All right, we've got to take the 4 out, right, and leave 29 on the inside. So we take the 4 out of the radical, take the square root out, and that's going to leave us for 4 square root of 29, or 2 square root of 29. So that is the length of, of uh, GA. Okay, so let's do... Uh, I'm gonna that's my GA length. All right, so now I'm going to change color because why not? Now AM, so A and M, my going to be the square root of my difference between 3 and 5, which is 2. 2 squared, this is A and M, okay, and then my difference between negative 4 and negative 9. 4 negative minus 9 negative equals 5. Okay, so it's going to be 4 negative minus 5 negative, or plus 5 negative, which is 4 and 5. So it's going to be 2 squared plus 5 squared. So 5 squared plus 2 squared equals 29. It's going to be square root of 29. All right, again, that's a, that is a prime number, so I can't really reduce that anymore. All right, let me go shift to, back to purple. Let's go shift back to purple. Um, just to have a nice pattern here. Right. So here we go, let's do uh, square root, purple this is MR. So difference between five and negative five, well that's 10, that's easy. So 10 squared and then four, negative four, or negative or four and zero, ten, that's gonna be four. All right, so it's the same as this. So it's gonna go. It's gonna go ahead and truncate that to uh, 
two square root of 29. Okay, same, same maths. Oh, squared, squared. Same maths there and there. And then GR, go back to here. And I'm going to do, um, going to do, 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 um, GR, GR is negative 5 and negative 7, change in x is 2 again, double check, 7 negative minus 5 negative equal, yep, that's 2, 2 squared, remember, because if I square negative 2, it's still just going to be positive, and then my y, g and r is 4, no, g and r is 5, that's the difference between negative 5 and 0 is 5, plus 5 squared, hey, that's the same, equals is square root of 29, hey, look, then we can compare, I have two lengths of the same length, and these two lengths are 25, that should be 29, I wrote 25, that should be 29, and these two lengths are the same, okay, um, well that's interesting, I wonder what can be said about the slopes, uh, just curious, so I wonder what the slope of GA is, I'll write the slope in, uh, in blue, so the slope, number, equals uh, a change in y divided by the change in x. So now I don't have like a visual representation of it, so I actually had to take into consideration the negative values and the positive values here, okay, to actually figure it out. So let's take a look. My ga, my ga value is 7 negative divided by 3. Oh, sorry, let's do it for change in y's first. Change in y. Alright, for change in y, I'm going to go this minus this. Okay, this is my, my first and my second. It matters the order. So I'm going to just do my first minus my second. I'm going to say that's my change. Well, we'll do, actually, let's do, uh, let's do a minus, let's do the first, the second minus the first. So this is my end. This is my start. Okay, so if, just to keep it consistent, it's important that you keep it consistent. Okay, so the first, this is the end point, and this is the start point. All right, so the change in is the, the final minus the initial. Okay, so it's going to be my final, and this is my initial. All right, so it's going to be A, so it's going to be negative 9 is my final, minus my initial. 5 negative, so my change in y is negative 4, my change in x is 3 minus 7 negative equals 10. So this is a slope of negative 2 fifths. Okay, that's my slope, it's negative 2 fifths. Okay, how about my slope for, let me change this to red, oh, my slope for am. Okay, AM, this is my final, this is my initial, so my final equals my change in Y over my change in X. My final is M, so it's going to be negative 4, negative 4, whoops, 4 negative minus A minus minus 9 negative equals 5, that's a positive, divided by, and then my change in y is 5 minus, uh, minus 3, minus 3, that's 2. Hey, look, these are opposite reciprocals. So I can say therefore GA, I'm going to make that blue, GA
this is a negative. Maybe I need it for a different color. Make it purple. Get out of here. These are negative reciprocals. Negative reciprocals. Therefore, they are perpendicular. Therefore, they are perpendicular. Okay. So how about uh, how about let's do this one? But this one, we go back to blue. Go back to blue. Okay. So this is my final. This is my initial. Okay. So my final is R. So zero minus five is a change is equals to change in y divided by the change in x and that's going to be equal so my change in y is minus 5 minus negative 5 my change in x is negative 5 minus 10 or my negative 5 this is R and M. Okay, so wait a minute. Oh, I did that's wrong. I, I looked at the wrong stuff. I made a mistake. Made a mistake. Change in Y is zero minus four, so it's negative four. I made a mistake. Okay, all right, and then my change in Y is negative five minus five, which is ten. So it's, again, it's is four ten, so it's negative two fifths. Okay, so it's parallel. These are parallel because they're the same slope and perpendicular to that one. Those are perpendicular. Okay, um, interesting. And I bet, I bet you, since, since. Uh, What I know about quadrilaterals, this is going to be parallel to that one. I bet you any money. All right, so my change in so G, change in Y, is negative five. Is negative, negative five. G R negative five minus zero is negative five, and then. Negative five, negative seven, minus five is negative seven. Negative minus five negative equals negative two. Negative two. So a negative five minus negative two equals five over two, which is parallel to that. So it looks like if I have two lines that are the same length that are parallel, right? These are this, these are parallel. And I have two lines of another length that are parallel. And then those lines are perpendicular. So it's kind of like say this was this is a little longer. It's like two times square root of twenty-nine, and this is just one square root of twenty-nine. And this is two square root of twenty-nine, right? And this is only just one square root of twenty-nine, right? These are parallel. These are parallel. These are congruent. These are congruent. These are 90 degree angles. These are 90 degree angles. Well, what, what do I have? Um, that, that's a rectangle. I have a rectangle. Okay. And if I go down here, uh, what do I know about the diagonals of the rectangles? Well, they, they should be congruent. All right. So let me figure out that if I look at GM. GM here, 
square root of the length of GM is the distance between 7 negative minus 5 is 12 squared. Okay, that's my change in x's. My change in y's are 5 negative minus 4 negative, which is going to be 1 squared plus 1 squared, which is going to be, let's see, is uh, 12 squared or 12. 12 squared is 144 plus 1 equals 1. This is the square root of 145. Let's see, what's that divided by 5? It's 29. Uh, I, that can't be reduced, really. Okay, and then how about AR? AR is, let's see, AR is, third, let's do 3 minus negative 5 is 8 squared. Wait, yeah, 8, 3. And that's 8 squared. And then 9 squared plus 9 squared. So 8 squared plus 9 squared equals, hey, that's a square root of 45. Because we know that these are diagonal. The diagonals of a rectangle are congruent. Okay, so that's how you kind of figure the things out. Um, on a if you're just given the, if you are just given the line segments of a, or the points of a triangle, you can figure out all that stuff. Okay, um, hopefully that helps you out. And if you don't, if you have some questions, please. Oh, sorry, this is classified as a triangle, as a rectangle. Rect T A N G L E one because. Well, we can figure out a bunch of stuff. One, the diagonals. Diagonals are congruent. All right, and, well, um, GA and, and MR are congruent. Uh, we said that uh, M, AM and GR or GR are congruent congruent and uh, we said and parallel we'll say and parallel and parallel and parallel and we'll say that uh, what else we say oh and we also also the variable say G A is perpendicular to uh, AM and GR. Yeah, that should that should be enough. That should be enough. Okay, because there's a drawing. That's our drawing. That should be enough to really, really uh, convince anybody. All right. So that is a pretty good example of how to put that stuff to real life here. And this was our. That was our. Uh, example reason. All right, well, hopefully that helps out with everything. Let me uh, pick up my mouse and post this.